Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, we will be tuning around the uh, international uh, shortwave bands of course on the Texan H501X here we're going to scan from 4000 to 5000 kilohertz on this band I'm just gonna put a little lighting here so that it is a little more uh, visible on the radio because sometimes low light makes for a uh, kind of a uh, grainy picture so we're going to tune from 4000 to 5000 kilohertz on the Texan 5 H501X using the MLA 30 loop commenting on how I do it how I tune these bands usually how I go slowly in tuning when I hear stuff commenting on the signals will be actually encounter so hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, little band scan of 1 megahertz or 1000 kilohertz of spectrum so 4000 kilohertz and up this is the uh, US Navy it's a kind of a radio teletype or stanag style signal it's from the US Navy uh, apparently coming from the east coast of the United States that's how you hear pretty much 24 hours It's encrypted, so don't expect to decode anything there. Bottom part here, of course, it's utilities, but there's a lot of pirate broadcasters that have been using this part of the spectrum lately. So when you are tuning around, expect that it's not impossible you encounter, especially in the early evening uh, and weekends, a pirate broadcaster on the bottom part here. Also to note, a lot of uh, Mars nets are happening in this bottom part here. So uh, there could be some Mars communications. Uh, Mars is military auxiliary radio system. It's kind of a amateur radio style or side to the US Air Force. And uh, so you might be hearing uh, some Mars nets uh, easily here in the bottom part of four megahertz, especially around zero hours UTC. As you see, I don't hesitate to go back and go back and go forward and just make sure I'm not missing out on anything. Fifty-ish. This is Navtex forty-two oh eight. This is uh, probably, and I've heard it quite a few times. It's technically centered on forty-two zero nine, but um, I've heard L two C Argentina. So this would be forty-two ten actually. L two C Argentina. And if you uh, use software to decode Navtex, you'll hear uh, the communications there. And uh, if the signal's strong enough, you might even decode. Um, what will give away that it's uh, Argentina is uh, a Spanish text. So uh, if you hear some Spanish or decode some Spanish from here, um, I don't know if this is going to work. I'll try it out just to see if. I can actually do something here just using the microphone. It's kind of a little weak. It's kind of a little weak, so this is the wrong app, sorry. Uh, Droid. Maftex, here we go. This is a good app. And so, I have uh, clear, I'll try to match it with the lines at the bottom. I'm just going to work.
it's able to match the lines, but it's not good enough to be able to, uh, to decode anything. Unfortunately, the, the signal's too weak to decode, so. But I'm pretty sure that what we're hearing is Argentina sending out Navtex. I often had good decodes on this frequency. So, um, trying it several days in a row and using software like FLDG. Or Droid Navtex. This is what I was using, Droid Navtex on Android. Lots of marine weather broadcasts around 4,300 to 4,450 from the U.S. Uh, Coast Guard, depending on the time that you are tuning around. The chirp surfs that you hear like this. If you put yourself in AM mode, it sounds like this. So this is what we call Kodar. These are radars that look at ocean wave heights uh, and uh, ocean current directions. getting into 4700 kilohertz and up which is in that part up to 5000 kilohertz the uh, 60 meter tropical band Stanag. in the evening you'll hear a couple of uh, Brazilians uh, Radio Progresso 4765. WWCR uses 4840. WBCQ is testing on 4790. This one also is uh, one of those radio teletypes, Stanax types, the type signal that is pretty much at 24 hours here. And uh, this one is uh, also, I believe, from the U.S. Navy um, on the east coast of North America. 4996, always uh, to listen to for uh, RWM time signal from Moscow, Russia. And of course, when we get to 5000 kilohertz, which is WWV. Still early for WWV on that frequency here, but uh, gives you an idea of the things you might be able to hear when you turn around the range. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.